Wow, didn't think I'd be doing another one of these this season. Alright, let's regroup. The Flyers staved off elimination with a Game 5 win over the Pittsburgh Penguins to force a Game 6 back in Philadelphia. Now, they look to force a Game 7 in this wild season. The first two home games of this series went just about as poorly as possible, losing 5-1 and then getting shut out 5-0 in Game 4. They'll need to figure things out at home if they want to keep their playoff hopes alive. Sean Couturier ended up being the biggest story of Game 5. The Selk Trophy finalist, man does that feel good to say, scored the game-winning goal, despite having his minutes limited due to his injury suffered in practice before Game 4. Couturier will most likely see a slight bump in minutes from Game 5 at the very least, so it will be interesting to see how that affects the game. Michal Nuvrith of course being the other top storyline. The injury-riddled backup goalie made the necessary saves to boost the Flyers to a season-saving win, and will most likely get the nod as they try to stay alive yet again. Neuvert did look shaky at times, including the two goals, he allowed. One a wraparound that somehow, someway, snuck between his pad and the post, and a five-hole goal. If the Flyers extend this series to seven, I have to imagine Neuvert plays a gigantic role in that feat. Claude Giroux finally got on the goal sheet in the Game 5 victory, backing up his bold statement that the Flyers would indeed be back for Game 6. The captain had his best regular season of his career, if that goal can open the floodgates for his playoff performance, it becomes a game-changer in this series. Lineup changes were made before Game 5 inserting Robert Hag and Dale Weiss into the lineup. By no means do I think that these were the right decisions, Hag should be in, not for Sanheim, but considering the Flyers' win, I can't see Dave Hag still going away from these moves. With that being said, if either of these two can make a difference in Game 6, it should go a long way for the Flyers in their hopes of heading back to Pittsburgh. According to our very own Maddie Campbell, the Flyers worked on wraparound plays quite a bit in practice, which one would assume to be in response to the three wraparound goals they've given up in this series. For some reason they've struggled with this, and they can't afford to have it happen again. What I'm hoping also comes out of this practice, is more of a behind-the-net offensive strategy from the Flyers. With how many players they have who are strong on the puck and also possess great vision, it seems like a no-brainer to implement this strategy. I'd especially like to see this with the Nolan Patrick line. I wish I could give a prediction of some sorts for this game, but at this point your guess is as good as mine. Just when you think the season is over, and there's no hope, the Flyers survive. I've joked, well, half-joked, about wanting the season to just end and for us to get blown out so the coach gets fired, but honestly? It'd be nice to see them give the back-to-back -back champs a run for their money in round 1 and force a Game 7. Because once you reach Game 7, anything goes. So let's get wild, and force Game 7. Flyers projected lines forwards Giroux, Philpla, Couturier, Voracek RAFFL, Patrick Konechny Lawton, Couturier, Simmons, Reed, Lettera, Weiss Defense Provorov, McDonald Hag, Gostas Fair Manning, Gudis Goalie Neuver.